I just wanted to shoot a quick video. I just finished installing a grass flap on a uh, Skag V-Ride 2. So I kind of want you guys to see what it looked like. So you can see we've got the uh, flap mounted out here on the outside edge. I uh, still got a little trimming left to do on the on the blocker plate itself to make it look nicer, cut the corners off and that. Um, on this particular install, I've used a no-drill mount. You can kind of see the ends of it right here. The, uh, so it bolts to the existing tabs and then you bolt the grass flap to that so you don't have to drill any holes out here on the outside edge, which is uh, which is pretty convenient. There's also something else pretty nice on this one, uh, and actually it's, I've tried to design all of them this way, but we've got the, uh, you see that aluminum bar there, that's the attachment for the accelerator bagger. Um, so it'll fit on there. Um, and most baggers will fit with the grass flap installed in the open position. So you can see um, we've actually designed it with clearance in there for, the, in this case, the tab to fit. And, uh, so so that's, that's pretty slick. That, that worked out uh, as planned. That's good. The other thing I want to show you then is the, uh, is the cable routing. So with the, uh, with the newer style grass flap, this spring mount bracket is actually can pivot up and down or slide up and down. So you can aim this cable wherever you need to as far as up and down is concerned. In this case, I put it down as low as I can so it lays here in the, uh, right here by the yoke for the deck lift assist. Then we run the cable on over and I'll get down in here. I don't know if we can see it or not, but uh, I've run the cable underneath the belts and pulleys. I think it does better underneath those belts and pulleys. And we've got the, uh, so we've got the whole unit here. We'll run it back into the back and I'll slide around here to the rear and show you what it looks like back here. Um, so on the uh, V-Ride, so you see the belt, you can see the, you can see the cable itself running along here. Okay, I brought it up. This whole, this whole bracket here, this piece is all part of the foot deck. So it, it, ro it turns or moves up and down rather as the, uh, as the foot deck is operated on. So I zip tied, you can see a zip tie right here. I zip tied that cable right in that uh, cut out there. And then I passed it through this drain hole. In this particular case, uh, we're gonna operate it more left footed. So I pointed the uh, pedal toward the left. You can see I've drilled a hole right back here on the very back edge for one bolt. There's a second bolt up in here. Um, to tie this thing down and got it all locked on. Uh, when you put these bolts in um, on this on the V-Ride, you need a 2 inch by 5 16 and that typically is not what comes in the kit. So you'll have to, I hate to say it, but have to come up with one of those. The, uh, but to put the heads on top pointed down so that they don't get in the way of the clevis moving up and down or the cable. Um, the other thing, and it's going to be probably hard to see, let me get over here on this side. On the pedal end, what I like to do is I like to put the nut is almost as far back on this fitting as possible. Um, leaves more of the threads out on the front side. And then that allows this cable to run straight and still be protected by the pedal. You can see I've zip tied it down here to keep it out of the way of your feet. So when I stand on the deck, on the first deck, I'm going to be in this area here. It's going to be kind of hard to see, but typically you don't stand all the way in. So you can see my foot's clear out of the way so I don't end up stepping all over this cable and, and uh, perhaps damaging it. So with it here, so there's two ways I've found that are really convenient. One is that you can just slide over with your heel and operate the flap. So again, I'm just heel operating it here. And the other thing that's pretty convenient is you can actually step on it this way and just use your, just rock your toe and, and operate it. So there's a couple ways of standing on it. And the same thing, if you want to operate it right footed, you can still get there. You just leaned over a little bit farther. So I just want to, again, shoot a quick video. I just got done installing it. I'm going to do a uh, full installation video where I'll show you a few more details on that, but I just wanted to put this together real quick. All right, thanks.